Hi everyone, the VPL D12, it's a very nice track, but he has one problem. The noise. Now I will disassemble it and show you where this noise is coming from and how to fix it. I disconnected one of the two motor wires and connected one resistor in the middle. So I can monitor the current on the motor with an oscilloscope. You see the PWM frequency is 250 Hz. Forward and reverse. Let's see how does it work. Inside the track there is a combo receiver plus speed controller. The speed controller has a PWM regulator in order to power the motor. The motor is acting as a speaker and so you hear the 250 Hz. The idea is to filter the PWM voltage with an LC filter, so the resulting voltage at the motor will be much smoother and the noise will be less. Since the frequency is very low, 250 Hz, the capacitor needs to be quite big. I would say a 1000 microfarad would be good. The inductor is needed to reduce the current spikes on the PWM controller. Now I connected the motor wires directly to the motor and a capacitor in parallel to the motor. And I will show why it is needed a small inductor. The waveform at the motor are like this. And you can see here on the rising edge that the, the speed controller is trying to regulate the current. But since there is a capacitor shorting the motor inductor, then the frequency here is very high. And this may lead to overheating of the PWM controller. And now let's seal the waveform of the circuit with the inductor. Let's connect the probe directly at the speed controller leads. Those are now much better. You see that the regulator is making a lot of short pulses and is able to regulate the desired current. Since the motor can be polarized in two senses, because the car is going forward and backward, this capacitor needs to be not polarized. It is not easy to find a not polarized capacitor, so an old trick is to put two capacitors in series with opposite polarity. So you will have plus here, minus here, minus here, and plus here. The capacitors are in series, so the capacitance is divided by two. If you have a 2200 microfarad, it would be equivalent at 1.1 millifarad. So we will use two polarized capacitors, electrolytic, connected with the opposite polarity. Now you have to prepare the capacitor and the inductor assembly in order to be placed like this. Here you can see the final assembly. The actual wiring will be this one. We will take the two capacitors and we connect it directly to the motor. Then we will cut one of the speed controller wires and we will go through the inductor to the capacitors. Let's remove the black speed controller wire. And let's solder the black capacitor wire at the motor. Then let's solder the red wire in parallel to the red speed controller wire, directly at the motor. And finally, let's solder the black speed controller wire at the short wire connected to the inductor. Let's fasten the capacitor to the transmission. Let's attach back the LED cable.
And now let's test it. Much better. Now you can hear the noise is uh, lower than the transmission. Still some noise, maybe with a 2200 microfarad capacitor is completely gone, but uh, is much, much, much better now. <laughs> 